How do you pray to combine your future career and God's purpose for my life? How do you pray to combine your future career and God's purpose for my life? Um, I tell people, man, um, most people choose career over a call because their call makes them afraid. Um, I used to stutter as a kid, man. Sometimes when I preach, you can hear me trip over my words. I talk fast, you know. Um, I, I wasn't that good in English class. And, and I remember when God told me to write the book on plug, I like, God, who you, who you talking to me? You know, I remember, I remember they circled that D on my paper real big. I ain't good in English. You know what I'm saying? You know, thank God I passed. But, you know, I, I didn't really like school. I just love, I didn't really like English. I just love words. And so it took me 24 years, 23 years to discover that I was an author. And from an author, I was, I was scared to, to speak in front of people. And I remember God told me one time, well, not told me, but when I was driving, he said, when you get home, why don't you do a video? I was scared to death. I like, man, nobody going to watch my videos. One video turned to two, two turned to 10, 10 is now 500 videos. I tell people that for a reason, because your call you can't shake. And your call is going to make you feel afraid. God always gives you something too big for you to handle so he can incorporate himself. If he gave you something that you can manage, then God can't be in it. Sometimes he puts you in situations where you have to have him, you have to need him in order for it to get done. Your career you can manage. You go to school, you read, you study, you show yourself approved, you can, you can do a career. But when it comes to your call, now God can sync your career with your call, don't get me wrong. But sometimes God puts you in places where he knows that he can incorporate himself into his will for you. So I tell people, be very careful that you're not following your will for your life. That you, be very careful that you're not following your will, but you're following God's will. Now, how do you distinguish between the two? God's will is always Christ-centered. God's will, is, God's will always makes you feel nervous. God's will always wakes you up at 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. God's will will always drive you to himself first before he drives you out. God brings you to himself before he sends you out. Your career, you just do what you want to do. And you say a couple of prayers hoping God keeps you safe along the way. But when it's your call, you know you need him. Like when, I, when I'm back there behind that stage, I'm nervous. Before I get to this chair, I'm shaking. You know, I'm nervous every, people ask me, man, bro, you nervous every, I'm nervous every single time because I need him when I come on this stage. Because what you see is not Josh. The real Josh, if you met the real Josh, you probably won't like the real Josh. He cool though. He all right. But this, uh, thanks man. <clears throat> this Josh right here, I, a, a guy prophesied to me years ago. He said, God will transform you in front of the people while you speak. Because that would be evident that the spirit is speaking through you. Sometimes you got to put yourself in a situation where you say, God, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know you led me here. So to answer your question, let me see it again. How do you pray to combine your future career and God's purpose for your life? You start off with making sure you don't pray your career at all to God. You just go to God and say, God, I just want your will to be done and evident in my life. Begin to find out what you got a passion for. Write down what you have a passion for. I tell people, if you love children, write down children. If you love the arts, write down arts. And then over time, as you engage with God, God doesn't reveal everything to you in the beginning because you won't be able to handle it. And so sometimes God leaves, leaves you by little bits and pieces of your vision. See, God didn't show me everything. God just showed me, God showed me this. And I'm going to tell you this. I haven't really told anybody this. Well, I guess I'm telling the world now. But what happened was, I remember one time, I think I was 17 or 18, um, and he showed me, from a helicopter view, he showed me like glimpses of cities. And he showed me that, that the stadiums were full and the streets were full outside of the stadiums. And he said, you're going to be one of the people to start the third grade awake. And that's all I saw. And that's why revival has been heavy in my heart. And after that, it was gone. How do I get there? See, sometimes God shows you the end. Because if he shows you the journey, you won't even start. Because if he shows you the journey, if he shows you the valleys you're going to go through, if he shows you the hell you're going to have to go through, if he shows you the wilderness, we, well, we'll quit first day, first day on the job, clock out. <laughs> but God shows you the end so that you can't stand before him and tell him you never showed me my call. Mm -hmm. So when you get that dream, write it down. When you get that vision, write it down because he's giving you snapshots, little snapchats. You know what I'm saying? Little glimpses of your purpose. And you're going to have to every day walk with him to ensure that you walk in according to his will so that you can get there. See, if I choose to go my way, I can counsel my purpose. What scares me the most is leaving my work undone. 
When I leave my work undone, that means I could have got it done, but something kept me from getting it done. What is that thing in your life that's keeping you from progressing? What is that thing in your life that's keeping you from finding out God's will for your life? Because would you not be upset with you if your life, if you were saved and still able to stay in heaven, but you living beside somebody else who actually accomplished their purpose? Like, I don't want to be that person where they like, God's like, man, if you would just left that girl alone, if you would have just left that situation alone, man, if you would have just listened to me, you would have accomplished it. What are those distractions in your life that's keeping you from listening and applying and executing? So how do you pray to combine your future career and God's purpose? Don't even think about your future career. Just immerse yourself with God and he will show you. Life with God is an everyday miracle journey. Every day with God is a miracle. Every day with God is a faith walk. Listen, <clears throat> I cannot tell you two weeks beyond my life right now. I can't. God has packed, positioned me to walk by faith. I can't. I'm a faith man. I, I have to walk by faith in everything. I have to walk by faith with marriage. I'm going to walk by faith with kids. I'm going to have to walk by faith with ministry. He's teaching me. He says, Josh, in order for you to do that, you have to have the faith to manage that. And people got a little bit of faith asking God for something like that. And God said, you know what? Your faith is a muscle. You have to exercise your faith. So God gives you a little task first. Let me let that strengthen your faith so you can get to a level where you can manage what he shows you. Mm -hmm. And when you trust God every step of the way, every step of the way is a faith walk. He ain't going to tell you everything. You got to let your life go. Cancel your future dreams. Cancel all until you know for a fact what he wants you to do. And when you find out what he wants you to do, every day is going to be a miracle because he's going to show you. I had a guy come to me, offer me $10,000. I had another person come to me, tell me they want to offer me more money. Off of God bringing me from Siski to, to Dowd. I said, God, why am I leaving Siski to go to Dowd? You see what I'm saying? Like, why? Did, why? God says, if I told you the plan, you would get there five minutes too late or it'd be five minutes too early talking up off the lip, messing up my plan. <laughs> you never, you never, you discover God's plan for your life. You discover it. Mm -hmm. You walk into it. You stumble into it. That's how God moves. Mm. Next, oh, sorry.